I'm Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Star Rate 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome, come on in. So today uh, we're gonna get right off with everything. It is, I think, about 10.30 here. Um, my hubby just went to town with the puppies. Uh, he went to go pick up some grub for next month. <laughs> Um, we just shop at Walmart and we use the, um, what's it called? The online store where you just go and pick it up. So he took the puffs for a drive. Gonna go get us some groceries and we will be set for the month of June. Can you believe it's June already? Oh my goodness. Happy June. All right. We're going to continue with our love and light series. And how is everyone today? <laughs> I hope everyone has a beautiful, beautiful day. It is beautiful here. The sun is shining. It's going to be nice and hot. And so, if there are any storms in your area, please take heat, take caution, make sure you're weather aware, and keep safe. Please, please keep safe. All right, so we mix the cards. And we're going to pick one. And this one is... says become still so you may hear God for the life of everything is in his hand and the breath of every human being and that comes from Job 12 10 now you talk about a man I don't know how many of you know the story of Job but you talk about a man that had child upon child upon child we think our lives sometimes are bad well then you need to go read Job <laughs> He had everything thrown at him, and I don't know how, I, you know, I really don't know how he did it, but he had, well, I know how he did it. He had enough faith in God uh, to get him through, but uh, yeah, uh, Job is an incredible book to read. Um, if you have never read Job in the Bible, um, uh, go read it. It's just, just amazing, uh, like I said, how much uh faith and but just everything job went through was just incredible but anyway so this is the card here and yes not pretty so pretty and yes so for the life of every living thing is in his hands and the breath of every human being so yes god has created everything and um he does have his hand in every um, just in everything. Um, absolutely. I had a card that dropped on the floor and it's bothering me. So hold on. <laughs> I'm going to go pick it up. All right. Alrighty. Good message today. Good, good message. Put them away. All right, so today we are going to look at the stuff I've done throughout May. This is not going to be in any particular order. So I have no idea what's going to come up first. But I just took things off the walls <laughs> and so forth. But uh, I'm going to get this set down here. I, this is how I hang up my uh, pictures uh, the, or my diamond paintings, the ones that I'm currently working on. And even when I finish them. So we're going to save that one for last. And I don't think I worked on anything. So this one I started actually two months ago for the um, wings and things. It was just an extra one I had started, but uh, here's my Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. And yeah, he's, they're still waiting to get done. <laughs> but I will get this one done. Maybe I'll have time this month to finish it off. Uh, this is my sugar skulls, and this is how far I've gotten on her. This was for a DP uh, Bee Witch Cat. She was uh, holding an event, and yep, that's how far as I got on her. But look at the gorgeous uh, flowers and the skulls coming out, but yeah. So 
I'm going to try to get her finished this month as well. She is a square. She is from Center One. I've had no issues at all working on this one. She is a... Uh, oh, she had 40 colors. So she's got 40 colors. And so, yeah. Like I said, I've had no issues. The drill fill, or the drill fill has been awesome. But just look at how nice those squares go together. It's absolutely gorgeous. And that's again, this one is from Center One. So if you're ever wondering, oh, what do their square dime paintings look like? There you go. <laughs> the start of one anyway. Really, really nice. So thank you, Bewitch Cat, for putting that on. I will continue working on her throughout the month of uh, June <laughs> to get her done. And of course, this is my hummingbird. This was for Diamond Grandma's event. She did... Um, she had two events. She had uh, two events. She had a co-host, uh, Macy's Madhouse. And thank you, Diamond Grandma, for putting on that. Um, hers is Tail Feathers 24. So, yeah, really, really nice. I can't probably get the glare off of this one. How about if I just hold it up like this? <laughs> but yeah, that's the hummingbird. And all I did was put it in this frame, if you can see up close. I put some washi tape around it and then found this frame and just flipped over the back board of it, I believe, to get the white border. Until I get a proper frame for it, I just put it in here. Yeah, this my hummingbird, my little hummingbird. And now for diamond for diamonds by Tita, she held um passionate purple passionate and purple i believe uh, i worked hard on this one in the past couple days and i got her complete and there she is so this is look at all the beautiful um purple in her but this is how she turned out she is a large one she is a 40 by 70 sorry yeah 40 by 70 uh, she comes from Timu, so yeah, I stretch right up. <laughs> Whoops. And then, like I said, I just hang them on these hangers here. Um, she was fairly easy. I had really no issues with her. Um, if you can see up close there. Uh, up close, her face looks a little bit, if you can see, um, not the greatest, but then you put her further back and she's one, one hot fairy. <laughs> but yeah, so that's her. Turned out absolutely gorgeous. So thank you, uh, Diamonds by Tita, for putting that on this month. And then I had just some little projects I did. So this one here, oh, the hummingbird also came from Timu. Uh, and I believe that was a... Uh, either a 40 by, I think that was a 40 by 40, my hummingbird. Yeah, and um, the, let me see. That was a 40 by 40. And then, and then the uh, sugar skulls is 45 by 45. Uh, then I was contacted by a company called uh, New Craft Day, I believe it was. And... I made this pretty hummingbird uh, they gave me this and I did a review for them and just a little sun catcher absolutely gorgeous so did that and then this company was I think this was from um, FG normal and it just says again it's another little sun catcher and it just says, with God, all things are possible. So this one was really nice. And I will have um, I will have a link to, to these if I can find them again. But I'll have a link to these if you're interested. I did notice also Timu has one too now that has, with God, all things are possible. And it's got a beautiful cross in it. And um, so they're also carrying something like this, but not the same. This one has a butterfly. So, really nice. Um, these ones are very, very easy. It took me like one evening and I was done. Uh, they shine absolutely gorgeous in the window. So, did that. 
Then I just did a, f a couple fun little projects. So I created some butterflies. I used these for my giveaway. So each uh, person that I gave something to did get a little butterfly. At least I hope they all did. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just a little butterfly. And then it's on a key ring here. So you can attach it to your purse or where wherever. And um, yeah. And then I had some leftover little puppies. So I made keychains out of them as well. They're really, really cute. I might make cover minders out of them. Just put a little um, magnet. I did order some magnets, so just waiting for them to come in. But just really, really cute. So there is that one. And then there's this one. And for the butterflies, I think it's, they came in a set of eight. And then these little guys, I think, was a set of four. And I gave one away. So there's that one. And then there's this one. <laughs> so just really, really cute little puppies. And then uh, here's another butterfly. So like I said, I believe the butterflies case, I gave Day four, five, six. Oh, so, so six. So the butterflies came in a set of six. And then I created my little um, toppers for your uh, straw, straw toppers. And they were my little dancing cactuses. <laughs> and, and if you're interested in seeing what um, I did give away, uh, everyone got a little something a little bit different in theirs. But if you are interested, DP Creepy Cutie did win one of the... Um, did did win or so I was gonna say was one of the winners there we go <laughs> DP creepy cutie uh, you can go check out her channel she does have uh, it she did an opening and uh, mutton nuts crazy crafting world she tried <laughs> but apparently her camera failed so but I do know that DP creepy cutie did show what she got so if you're interested to go see go check out her channel um, and while you're there subscribe she's awesome she does a little bit of the creepy dolls I do the cutie dolls <laughs> yeah she does a creepy but uh, and I do the cutie but uh, but anyway so those are the ones oh oh yes okay and we're not done yet. I forgot. And, uh, uh, what's this called? Um, I want to say it's not paint along. I think it's, um, diamond painting with friends. Anyway, uh, it's my Canadian flag. So this one comes from Jimmer Design. It's very big. So, of course, I'm not going to get it all in there. But I can show you my current progress on this one. And I was doing this for celebration. So thank you, uh, Crafty Diamond Chef, for her. Did I say that backwards? Crafty Diamond. No, I think it's Crafty Diamond Chef who put this on. Oh, Crafty Chef Diamonds. There we go. Uh, she was doing celebrations this month. And so this is... As far as I got on this one, let's see if I can go back. <laughs> so yeah, it is a very large diamond painting. Like I said, it's it is from Dreamer Design. But so yeah, that's a work in progress. Let me tell you, I worked on this one last night, and I thought, oh, maybe I can get like that whole strip done. Nope, a lot of confetti in this one, and. Uh, I'm just taking it step by step. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like I said, got tons of confetti. Absolutely gorgeous. So the sparkle is beautiful. Love the sparkle on it. And I think it's just going to look amazing when it's done. I'm going to continue working on this one as well uh, throughout the month of uh, June so I can get it done hopefully by July. And. Let me just move some of this stuff over here again. And I need to find what I'm going to currently. Okay. So for this month, we have Shiva. 
So she was shown on one of my videos and I asked uh, people to pick a name for her. We drew it out of a hat for when we had our 500 event and her name is Sheba. So Sheba will be entered into the events this month. Uh, she is going for Diamond Grandma's um, Feline Love and her... Hold on, I need to bring out my phone. <laughs> And I believe it's got Diamond Nana is her co-host. So, yes. So Diamond Nana is her co-host. And then um, Fabulous Flowers is what uh, Diamonds by Tita is putting on. So, of course, she's got absolutely beautiful flowers there. And then Paint Along with Friends. And that is... Um, Chew Vampire Crafts, and she's doing animals this month, so she'll be entered in that. And then Paint Along is, I believe, what um, Paint Along is, I believe, what DP uh, Bewitch Cat has. But Sharing Our Shine um, is the one that's putting on that one this month, and it's jungle theme, so it'll be perfect for that. So one canvas for everything. <laughs> And that's a way to do it. Don't pick four different things. <laughs> but anyway, so yes. So this is the one we are going to be working on this month. And I am so looking forward to it. I think it's adorable. Thank you to all of those that are putting on these events for us. Um, I really do enjoy it. I, I love seeing everybody's uh, work. Um, Diamonds by Tita has a Facebook group. Uh, Diamond Grandma has a Facebook group. Uh, Paint Along with Friends has a Facebook group, but it is private. So if you do want to join, uh, I think they, not that you need to be in the event, but they have um, rules <laughs> in their Facebook group that they only want you to show what you're, what you're, you know, if you are involved in their event, which makes sense. I mean, otherwise they, they would probably get lost with find, trying to figure out who is doing what into their event so um, please consider please be kind if you do join them and uh, follow their rules um, but anyway so she's this one will be entered for that and then uh, DP uh, bewitch cat she has a I email her but she also has um, Oh, what's that program called? No, I can't think of the name. Sorry, be witch cat. But anyway, it's a place where uh, she's created that you can go and see what other people are working on for that month for her. And, um, but yeah, so, like I said, I will get that painting done. <laughs> Eventually, hopefully by the end of this month. And then I can submit both of them, so I'll have both of them done. Uh, but anyway, I had, like I said, I had lots of fun. Thank you to everyone that uh, put on these events. Um, oh, Macy, I met Macy's Madhouse from Diamond Grandma and what a sweetheart she is. We had a little nice conversation and I so enjoyed it. But yeah, so tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> so I think we're going to be kidding up. Ashiba. I will show you how I, um, I'm going to section her off and get her all ready to go. So that will be tomorrow's uh, crafting uh, project we're going to do. So please don't miss that. Today I'm going to continue on with my flag. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to, that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, like I said, my husband went to town to get some groceries. So I want to make sure that I am ready for uh, him when he comes because it will be a couple bags at least. <laughs> we usually shop for two weeks at a time. Just um, makes it easier. And that way we usually only go to town uh, two days. Unless uh, there's an appointment or something, then yeah, we go we go more my puppies are getting their hair cut this month I can't wait they are a mess that's all I want to say just a total mess my poor puppies and uh, their hair last month so we last month we took them in and it was we thought for a full grooming but they said no we only had scheduled to get their nails cut and the trim so that's exactly what they did and 
so yes with it getting so hot out my little girl looks like a little fluff powder <laughs> she's just so fluffy and um i think she's adorable but it's just too hot for her especially out here and um ollie has more of that wiry i don't want to say really wiry fur but um i guess more of the terrier fur and uh so yeah just kind of looking scraggly and uh I'm having a hard time keeping his hair up now. I don't know what I'm going to do. He, I put it up in his little, you know, little bow or whatever, um, little elastic. But then he rolls around and he paws at it and I don't think he likes it. So maybe for the summer I might get it cut. I'm really, I really love it when he's, you know, got his little bow up. But if he's not comfortable, then I'm not comfortable. So I think I'll do, I'm going to get his cut short. Pixie loves her hair done. She will lay on my lap and she just soaks up all the attention. And she usually likes to dress up too. But uh, usually again in the summer, I don't. It's just too hot. But anyway, guys, <laughs> those are my puppies. Oh, and I have three cats. My three cats are a pain in my you know what um i love them dearly but they jump on everything and marty has just been off the wall i don't know marty runs back and forth and then he'll jump up on the counter and jump back down the counter a couple times he's jumped on my dom paintings and and usually he's not like that so i don't know what maybe it's spring is in the air <laughs> not sure he is a male i'm not sure um, I'm not even sure if he's fixed. My husband would know, but, uh, he was, he's usually the one that takes him to the vet. Um, Silver Moon is just as grumpy as ever. Silver Moon is a mixed, uh, Maine Coon and, no, sorry. I think she's Himala Himalayan. I mean, she's got a mixture, but Siamese cat. And, um, yeah, it's just moody, hisses and growls and... Uh, but yeah, can be the most loving cat. Will lay in your lap and just purr and be pet. She just wants to. He just wants to be pet. But if you don't pay attention to him, yeah, you might uh, get a little paw on your foot, cause you know you weren't paying attention to me. And then I have my old blizzard, and often you will hear him in the videos. He does meow, and his meow sounds like he's dying, but he's not. <laughs> we had him checked not that long ago. He's in actually really, really good health. The vet was shocked saying, oh, I can't believe this cat is 18 years old. Um, but yeah, figuring back, he is 18. And uh, my husband has the uh, record of when he first took him in to the vet. He was found in a cardboard box in California because uh, he did, did come with my husband when I met him but then boyfriend so uh but Blizzard came along for the ride and uh he is just um a great cat but anyway but we all know if we are cats if we are cat lovers out there and do have cats you can understand my frustration sometimes um oh I've used my little owl here this comes from uh Timu and it's perfect for your drills. See, there's my wasted drills in there. Absolutely perfect. I do, like I say, want to make this into a cover minder. And I'm just waiting for my magnets to come. And, yeah. And I think that's it, guys. That's all I've got. It's, what, uh, 25 minutes maybe about that. But that's okay. <laughs> Uh, yesterday I did a Dollar Tree haul. I got some awesome stickers, so go check that out. Uh, I just uh, absolutely loved um, what I showed and what my husband picked out for me. Oh my goodness, just love, love, love the stickers. <laughs> the stickers and the signs. Beautiful butterfly signs. Oh my goodness. But anyway, that was yesterday. Today is today and tomorrow will be tomorrow. So come back tomorrow. <laughs> I would love to have you here. We, like I said, we're going to kit up my Shiba and uh, really looking forward to that. All right, guys, I hope you, from my home, sorry, from my home to yours, I hope you have a most wonderful day, whether it be your day, your night, your evening, whatever time it is. And as always, God's richest blessings. And I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.